Hello, thank you for joining me on this session. Uh, for a little while now I've been trying to get my head around how to work with uh, cascading drop lists in InfoPath when working together with a list created in SharePoint. Uh, following uh, details that I read in a, a blog by Ben Walters, <coughs> um, I've put together this video clip to uh, help others who uh, of you that might be in the same situation as I was. So as you can see, here's the list. Um, it contains details on uh, a number of different makes of car and their respective models and some different colour options. Now um, that is going to be used in conjunction with um, an item in InfoPath, which is just a straightforward blank. And the first thing we're going to do is to create the um, group and the fields relating to this activity. So go into add and ask for insert the name or label for the group which is going to be cars and it's repeating so you need to fill that tick box and then going back we now need to add in the actual fields themselves which is make and model Having put that together, we can then right click on the cars group and ask for a repeating table to be inserted into the face of the online form. What we need to do now is to right click in turn each of the um, text boxes in that new table and convert them to a drop down list box. Now before we can go any further we just need to go back to the list within SharePoint and take a copy of its URL details because we're going to link to that so it's uh, right click on that, ask for drop down list properties and we then need to ask here for look up values from an external data source and then click add in the first step of the data connection wizard nothing to do there so click next in the second step we need to identify it's a SharePoint library or list that we're working with and at this point you'll have to use keyboard combination of control and V to paste in the URL details that you copied earlier and then click next here's your confirmation that we're talking to the right list say next and then we are of course working with um, not only model and colour but also make fields as well so click next having done that nothing to do in this step then click finish go into the select xpath button for entries and then ask for make click OK and then make sure that you click show only entries with unique display names failure to do that will show an unnecessary uh, display of um, the makes of car in repeat but just to go to preview for that first fields detail there you have the four different makes of car um, that are contained within the list so we're doing okay so far now moving on now to the model and color drop list boxes uh, we need to do the same drop down list box properties the same uh, in terms of selecting lookup values from an external data source but we've already got the data source cars included so what we need to do now is to go in and tell it that we want it to be the model uh, field that we're working with but this is the step we need to add in for each of them that was eluding me previously filter data add and then it's make is equal to select a field or group and then here in the select a field or group dialog box it's important that you select the main data source and then again select make so that's what you end up with make is equal to make 
click OK, then click OK again, then click OK again, and then in here, again, show any entries with unique display names, click OK. So just have a preview of that so we can see how that appears now. So we've got Ford XR6, alright, so, and it could have been instead the focus. So we go back into the design view, come into the color drop down list box properties dialog box, again look up values from an external data source, go into the select xpath block, click color, filter data again, add, make is equal to select a field or group, main, and again make. OK that. OK. Click OK again. Click OK. No need this time to show any to fill in that tick box. And then click OK. So previewing what we've done for all three of them now, we've now got Ford XR6 and we have a choice of colours blue, red, yellow, black, light blue or white. The fact it's a repeating table, by clicking on the insert item, then you can go in and ask maybe for a different one. This time it's the Holden, what we'd know as Vauxhall, maybe Opal. And then the different colours you've got there. Let's have Cornflower corn Blue. Uh, if we go in and ask for Toyota, there's only one of that. And there's a choice of white or red, so we'll have white. And then you've then got Porsche and then you've got the choice of either the Boxster or the Carrera and then there's a choice of colours for that and if we go in and ask for a different Porsche this time and have the Carrera and again we'll have a red one. So there you have it. Uh, cascading drop list boxes working together in InfoPath with a, f a list that has been created in SharePoint. Hope you found that useful.